going to do one more. It's slightly different. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's very different to what I usually do. So if anyone's got any feedback, I'd love to hear it. Uh, so I work in a primary school and I usually I work in a year three class and at my school for some reason they've put me in charge of poetry. I don't think they realise what kind of poetry I do <laughs> but there you go. Uh, and I, I wrote a poem about Timmy the talking teddy bear and I thought this is not what I usually do so I, I put a bit of me into it. <laughs> Timmy the talking teddy bear was a brony bear indeed. He saved all his money and packed a sandwich full of honey and went to holiday by the sea. Timmy the talking teddy bear jumped on a train to Brighton. Fresh air filled his lungs and sure he'd have fun, looked forward to being enlightened. Timmy the talking teddy bear alighted the train at once. A pungent smell hit his nose and forced his eyes to close as a teenager pushed him shouting nods. <laughs> Timmy the talking teddy bear's eyes filled at once with tears. He'd come to get away from the struggle day to day and the pressure of impressing his peers. Timmy the talking teddy bear trudged miserably to his hotel. It pissed down with rain and from behind him he heard cocaine and in his misery he thought what the hell. <laughs> Timmy the talking teddy bear wasted no time with the drug dealer handed over the money and said thanks buddy and walked off with a cool demeanour. <laughs> Timmy the talking teddy bear checked in with the receptionist downstairs then went up to his room to find a coke spoon and put a lighter to his sordid affairs. Well Timmy the talking teddy bear had a very bad trip that night. <laughs> He'd bought a batch of bad coke that had left him dead and broke and had given the housekeeper quite a fright. <laughs> So Timmy the talking teddy bear's downfall should have taught you all a lesson, of course. Don't spend money on drugs from dodgy looking thugs. Go find yourself a reputable source. <laughs> <laughs>